don't think I can use this. Hi everybody. Hey, you know, most of my ideas go from an idea to using rubber bands, paper clips, duct tape, and a variety of other papers and metals and scrap pieces all cobbled into one to make a prototype to see if it will work for proof of concept before the actual labor is put into a nicer one. On this edition I have an idea for an LED whirly gig yard light that I would like to uh, put together with scraps of pieces and see if it's possible to continue uh, making a nicer one. So hang out with me and let the idea flow begin. We will be building a thingamabob pathfinding LED light thingy. Stay tuned. So these are some of the motors that I've pulled out of various electronics here around the shop. This is called a stepper motor. It's a DC motor and it has a bunch of wires on it. It's a nice looking motor, but uh, has no use currently, so we're going to see if we can use that. And then here's another one that came out of an old HP printer, and uh, that also has a bunch of wires on it. Now this will work just fine as long as they're all DC rated. Now the trick to finding out which wires to use on these is just a matter of stripping all the wires. I just use my little strippers. If you look here, I've stripped all the wires back and I have set my alligator clips up to an LED like this now on an LED you'll notice that there's a long and a short lead on these the longer one is the positive so if you know which one is the positive on the motor output certainly use that but to test an unknown motor like I'm doing here I've simply hooked up two alligator clips and I've started with uh, two random wires and then I just take my motor output and I spin it and see if anything happens you may have to switch them around several times there we go so I know that my brown and my red wire produced the energy to light this LED. And if you have other motors like this that have more than one output wire, chances are there's other coils inside the motor. So you might be able to actually hook up more than one set of these. I'm just going to hold these wires on here and see if I can Yep. Let me see if I can uh, hold this at the same time. Uh, wrap this around here just real quick. So these stepper motors actually have three coils inside them so I can actually hook up three different devices to these. Well it was working a second. There we go. and I still have two other wires here that I could certainly hook up now here's another style and this one had a, a plug in there and I had already found the two that worked and you can see just by turning that they work just fine so my plan is to take one of these and make a pathfinding whirly gig thing that sits out in the yard collects the wind and lights our way I'll show you what to do next Now I drill a quarter inch hole. Sometimes it's just easier than getting out a power tool.
that way in high winds or you need to fix it or something you can just pull it up out of there I am going to mount this bearing in this tube This propeller is just a propeller that I picked up at the hobby store. It's uh, made for model airplanes, little electric model airplanes. And I just measured the worm gear on this motor that already existed so that uh, I could drill it and slide this on the top. So I'm just going to glue that in now. Well, there it is. There's my dry run Whirly Gig Generation LED Yard Ornament Spinny Homemade thing. <laughs> it's a um, motor out of an old printer. Some LEDs that I picked up a whole pack of them at an uh, electronic shop. They're just regular LEDs, a couple bucks. Um, a piece of uh, scrap aluminum angle an old piece of plexiglass that I uh, broke off the back of one of the uh, Frankie cube scraps a model airplane propeller that I got at the hobby store um, some hot glue a rubber band a few nuts and bolts and a piece of PVC plumbing plastic and this is my generator system and I am going to put it in some wind next. Hang out. Well there it is. My flying whirly gig LED landscape lighting windsock thing me do. It's been really fun building this. I would hope to get it outside. Besides being rainy, there's no wind in sight. Of course, that only happens when you're trying to show off your whirly gig, right? Let me turn some lights on here and you can see what's happening. Well, there it is. It's not pretty. I haven't painted it yet. It's still in the test stages. I've got this fan here blowing on it. There's the little LEDs inside. And certainly that this motor could uh, push a lot more of these LEDs. You could actually put them all the way around. I thought about making this look like an airplane. I'm not sure what I'll do with it yet, but it sure is neat to uh, harness the, the wind and make a little bit of energy that we can see. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video, and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.